we're going to make some squirrel pot pie, uh, which is a good recipe, I think, for somebody who's never eaten squirrel because the um, it has a little bit of a gamey flavor. It tastes a lot like dark meat turkey, so if you like dark meat on your turkey, you'll probably like squirrel meat. Um, so I got the meat here. This is three or four squirrels that I got earlier this year. Um, I just gave them a good rinse to make sure I got all the hair off. Um, I'm going to sprinkle them with some salt and pepper and then I'm going to cook them in the pressure cooker. If you like uh, spicier meat, um, or spicier dishes in general, you can use um, paprika or chili powder or something like that. Just, just to give it a little bit of flavor um, while it cooks in the pressure cooker. You take the meat, put it in the pressure cooker. I really like to use the pressure cooker. Um, squirrel meat's naturally tough if you just try to cook it outright. So I would recommend, um, even if you're frying it, no matter what you're doing with it, either pressure cooking it or um, boiling it for 45 minutes or so until the meat um, is really tender is definitely the best way to go. If you make it the wrong way, it'll be extremely tough. Um, and so you definitely need to either parboil it or use a pressure cooker. So I'm just going to add enough water um, to cover the meat. That's about good right there. And then every pressure cooker is different. If you have the um, the kind you put on the stove top that have the rocker on it, uh, those will work as well. This just happens to be a digital one. Um, and I like to use the chicken. It's got a bunch of presets on it. So I just use the setting for chicken, um, which is, it says about 20 minutes. I've used it before and it's worked um, pretty good. So... Program six. Make sure the uh, vents close so it steams up. And then this will take about 20 to 30 minutes uh, to warm up and pressure cook it. And when it comes out, it should be nice and tender. Um, once it's nice and tender, we're going to strip it off the bones and we're going to use it in a pot pie just like you would chicken. Um, so we'll show you that once it's uh, cooked. just taking the squirrel out of the pressure cooker. Um, if you're going to fry it and you just want it to be tender, I would say about 20 minutes is probably right. Try it to put it in a recipe. Uh, 30 to 40 minutes is probably better. I think this is about 35 minutes. Um, so hopefully it will shred up pretty nice and uh, it will be easy to get it into the, off the bone and into the pie. Alright, so here we have our squirrel meat, came right off the bone, as you can see it really does look a lot like dark meat turkey, and it smells just like it as well. Uh, we got some frozen vegetables here, and also some of the frozen diced potatoes you can get. Um, I'm going to put the recipe up as I make the video, um, but here my wife's making up the sauce that's going to uh, go in the pot pie. We've got some onions in there, some oil, some flour, and a little bit of broth. We have just a frozen pie crust from the supermarket. They're awesome because I hate making pie crust. So it makes it... No one likes making pie crust. makes it a million times easier, but if you have a favorite pie crust recipe, feel free to use that. Um, I just don't like making pie crust. All right, we've got the sauce here. It's thickened up. You don't want to get it too thick because it's going to cook out a little bit um, in the oven. 
So about can pancake batter consistency um, is good. We're just going to add our frozen vegetables. And our potatoes. And our squirrel meat. About two cups eh, of squirrel meat, you can eyeball it. Three or four squirrels would be good. Um, and then I like to give it just a little light toss. Be careful not to rip the pie crust, but uh, just so you don't have just layers of stuff a little mixed through. Then we'll come over here, we'll get our gravy, pour that in. Pets are ready too. Make sure that's coated in there. Fill your pie up. It doesn't have to be perfect. So if you ever made chicken pot pie, same exact thing, you're just adding squirrel instead of chicken. And then I take, these, so these pie crusts come in two packs, so you can take the other one. Uh, you just roll it out, lay it on top, and you want to crimp your edge to seal in all the deliciousness. You can use a fork, you can use your fingers, but this is, well, so I'm just going to kind of smoosh it together. slits in the top so that it will vent the steam as it's cooking. And then the last step is you want to um, put some egg wash on it. It's just an egg with a little bit of water. This will make your pie look nice and shiny and get a nice crispy crust on top. So you just brush that on the top and then you stick it in the oven 400 uh, for about half hour, I think. So after you take it out, you want to let it sit for about 10 minutes. Let everything cool off and firm up a little, and then you'll be ready to eat.